Wembley Stadium and a flutter of excitement from tens of thousands. This year's cup final was graced by the presence of Her Majesty the Queen. Then enter the Gladiators, Manchester City wearing striped shirts for the occasion. Birmingham City are first to have the honour of presentation to the Duke of Edinburgh. Now Roy Paul does the honours on behalf of Manchester City. Mr Bond, the ref, Len Boyd and Roy Paul meet for the toss-up, which Boyd wins. All set. Don Revy kicks off and the final is on. Birmingham, the favourites, are quick to take the initiative and are soon pressing forward to penetrate Manchester's defence. Manchester clear and the ball goes to Don Revy, chosen to play at the last moment. He's got a plan already, just watch him put it into action. Revy to left winger Roy Clark. Clark centres. And Joe Hayes shoots, a goal in less than three minutes and first blood to Manchester. Oh, it must have shaken Birmingham, but in a quarter of an hour they've recovered from the shock and storm along into Manchester territory. Dangerous attack develops, Noel Kinsey takes a first timer and it's one all. He approves. She doesn't. Brown kicks off for Birmingham in the second half. Shut up. After 20 minutes, Manchester put on the pressure. Soon from a pass by Johnston, Dyson scores. He is not amused. It's all Manchester now, and clearly they're not yet satisfied. This time it's Bobby Johnston who does the trick. 3-1 for Manchester City. Birmingham rally, and then a clash between Peter Murphy and goalie Bert Troutman. Troutman's hurt. Let's have a look at that collision in slow motion. Diving at Murphy's feet, the former German paratrooper and POW certainly collects a nasty one. The game's held up, but Troutman's determined to carry on. he's in collision again and this time it seems to be winded. In the closing minutes Manchester City drive on to Birmingham's goal and put in a snorter that's brilliantly saved. The final whistle, victory for Manchester City and congratulations all round. Troutman is obviously still in pain. Her Majesty presents the trophy to Roy Paul and a big moment it is for him. on the field now and Moverton have their work cut out to get a few words from the victorious well, skipper. This is the finest thrill of my life. It's a grand, it's a grand honour to captain such a famous team as Manchester City. I think we were worthy winners and well done City boys. Never mind Bert Troutman, there's something extra special waiting for you in the changing room. Up for the cup, up with the cup.